All right, all right, guys, welcome back. I'm gonna run these two RC cars today. They're both 110 scale, they're both buggy. This is the Texas Bandit, super popular, been around forever. Over here, we got the Exceed Sunfire brushless, and it's based off the HSP, it's very similar to the Red Cat. This guy has pretty good amount of parts availability, so it's actually pretty good. This one, of course, good part support. This is a rear wheel drive, this four wheel drive. This one came with a brush system, but I've since updated to a brushless. And I also changed the radio. I'm using this one from my Traxxas VXL. With the link features, I can connect to a whole bunch of cars. I prefer this way than having so many different remotes running around. And this one has more adjustment to it. I can adjust the stool rate and the expo on this. All right, let's open the hood on this guy. What we see here is China brand. Octa brushless system is pretty good. It did not come with bar bearings, so I did have to put bar bearings in there for around the same price of this guy. But we're gonna take it out for a run. Let's just see how do you like both of them. Uh, the tires have a harder compound to it. The links are non-adjustable, and this has a very classic buggy look to it. Just uh, both of the buggies from the 80s and 90s look like this. So that's why I bought this one. I still miss this kind of look actually. It has the standard telescopic drive shaft. I don't remember how many teeth pinion I put in there. Now let's go over to the Sunfire. This guy came with a full set of barber rings. The gears inside are actually metal. It has a aluminum upper brace. The chassis was actually plastic. I changed out to this aluminum one. The cool thing about this, all the parts are so freaking cheap. The shock tower bent in the past. I still haven't changed out the tower. I bought it already. It's only like seven bucks on eBay. And I bought uh, some aluminum knuckles. But I still haven't changed out. I'm gonna break first before I change it. And the cool thing about these is that they fit on the Red Cat and HSP. And also some of the parts fits my Maverick Strata, which is another brand made by HPI. This is a stock brush list that came with it. It's based off the Hobby Wing. It's a 12T motor. The servo I did change. The original one is just super slow. This is from the 1980s and it's still working. So I just dump it in here and it's faster than what came with this car. Uh, this do have adjustable links. I did have this adjusted when I first bought it. This wheel was like out there and this wheel is in here. Everything's just all over the place. So this one is four wheel drive, hard compound tires. There's no foam insert inside. You can adjust this by turning it as threaded. This one you gotta put clips on. This is the transmitter that comes with it. And it reminds me of the Dramada touring car that I have, which is pretty good. It has a lot of adjustments to it. it has the dual ray, the throttle trim. First up, Traxxas Bandit. Doesn't have too much torque. I'm gonna say it's the Octave system and the gearing that's causing it. I'm sure if I tweak it a little bit, it'll be a lot better. At least at this speed, the heading is really good. Very controllable, super stable. I don't spin out if I throw it right now, even into turns. I guess that's the plus side of it. This is a great first RC car for a lot of people. Why I say that is because it's not too expensive. The support's everywhere. And tractors are actually pretty reliable. I know there's a lot of people that don't like it. They always say it breaks, but to me, I haven't had too bad of experience with tractors. They're actually really good. And then when you buy RC car, you know, especially for young kids, you don't know how long they can play it with. They could probably play it today, and they don't, they leave it there for a whole summer or for a whole year or two, and then come back and play again. These things are pretty good because you know it's been around forever, and you can find parts for it many years from today and since it's been out for so long there's parts everywhere floating around five years down the line six years down the line they want to get back to it this thing will still probably be in production and you can still play it when it first came out i wasn't too into it because at the time there were a lot of kits I, all i did was build kits and hpi was the things that I used to get like lozy and hpi and team associated and Traxxas came along this thing was like made in taiwan and then it's it focused on RTR. It just had a bad rap back then, but I know it's been a long time. And now this thing is still in production, and Traxxas is like the biggest name right now. It's insane how far it came along. Definitely the style of this thing just screams classic. And it brings back all my childhood memories, and I love it. I'm loving this right now. It's so much fun. I don't dare to put a 3S on this, even though they say you can on a spec list, but this is the Octave, man. I don't want to push it too hard and blow it up. Alright guys, are you guys ready for the other one? Yeah, let's do it. Let's bust out the exit sun player. Alright, here we go. We got the sun player going. Right away you can tell the torque. It's way more. You know what I think? If I had the original motor on there, on this Trexus Bandit, it would have been more torquier. 
I just put the brushless in for the higher RPM and more efficiency. Tires are not grippy at all. Hey, but the servo made a huge difference. The original servo sucked. Turning on it was laggy. Also, there's a delay. Wow, power. Okay, just ran over poop. Oh, nasty. I think it's all dried up, so it's probably like just disintegrated. Trying to get it go straight. There you go. Just have to be easy on the throttle, easy on the steering. You know this thing can take a pretty good beating also. I let my daughter play this at a park. She pretty much floored this thing and slamming the concrete over and over again. I mean what broke I mean, absolutely nothing except the body. The body is kind of weak on this. I had to repair it with the drywall tape and the shoe glue. But other than that, nothing broke. Is it good for beginners? I don't know. Depends on your hobby shop. If they have red cat cars in stock, and they can probably support you and help, help you find parts and help you out. If you're a beginner that, that needs guidance a lot, I would say maybe. Just know what you're getting into because you're not going to get the full support you need. But if you're somebody uh, that has experience and you're really good at doing research and working on these things, this is definitely a very good car to buy. It's cheap. You can get parts online. Any of the HSP parts will fit this. Any of the C parts will fit this. Not your RCX. And that's how parts are for this. Which one do I like more? I like them both. That's my generic answer. Different feel to it. This one is more of a classic look. Brings back a lot of childhood memories. This is better for beginner. It's easier for you to get help. All right, sorry about that. I gotta come into the car because uh, the train was going past and it's just super noisy. It's hard for me to talk. Like I said before, this thing, if you're a beginner, just know what you're getting into. You know, unless your support system is really good or you're pretty much mechanically inclined and you'll enjoy doing research and working on things yourself and you have good patience and you have a hobby shop that carries maybe a cat or or even some of the HSP stuff if you're lucky enough then yeah it's a good buy so overall right now I like both of them it's just for different reasons I like all my RC cars if you haven't noticed all right that's about it guys thanks for checking out this video maybe one of these days I'll probably pop in a better brushless system in here and upgrade it and then do another video when it's fully decked out in the meantime take care peace out